Hello and welcome to Titan HQ. In this video I will explain Web Titan Cloud with Active Directory integration. Web Titan Cloud can be pushed out with a default policy to all locations. If any location requires Active Directory integration, this does require an on-site installation. There are two key aspects to this. In this diagram, this is showing an internal network. This is the firewall, everything to the left is internal, and Web Titan Cloud is in the cloud. So for Active Directory integration, you must install DNS proxy. This is a VM. We supply you with the ISO, so this can be installed on VMware, Hyper-V, or a physical server. If installing on a physical server, please make sure that this is FreeBSD compliant as the underlying operating system is FreeBSD. Once DNS proxy is installed, this can sync up your users and your groups to the cloud. So you can assign according policies to the users and to the groups. The second key aspect of this is WADA which stands for Web Titan Active Directory Agent. This is installed on your domain controller, and if you have multiple domain controllers, it is best practice to install this on each domain controller. During this installation, it prompts you for the IP address you've provided DNS proxy. It will also prompt you for a username and password. Please supply a administrative level username and password when prompted. WADA then captures the event of a user login. Once it sees a user login, it reports the internal IP and that user to DNS proxy. The final step, once you've installed DNS proxy on WADA, the final step is once a user logs in, DNS proxy now becomes your internal DNS server. So in your DHCP, when a user logs in, it, the user gets supplied DNS proxy as the internal DNS server. DNS proxy would then send all public requests to the cloud for filtering. For any internal requests, any internal domains, will be redirected by DNS proxy back to your internal DNS server for resolution. This is a key aspect, as we can now see the internal IP, we know the user because WADA has passed it to DNS proxy, and we can redirect internal DNS requests as required. So to recap, for AD integration, it requires two installations, a virtual machine called DNS proxy, and an agent on your domain controllers called WADA. The final step is DNS proxy will now become your internal DNS server.